So I need to prove that I got the data into the database. So what I'm going to do now is is uh, get a result set. So I get re the result set equals, and remember, uh, get the database. Oh, hang on. The result equals database handle, and then you call the select all array ref. And then we, instead of a string, we'll just use the, the Q function in Perl. So select star from test. Okay, now if I go print res, what do you get? You have an array of something. So now we've got to dump that array. So we'll go for each uh, element in res, which is the result set. Um, now we have to make sure we put the back quote because this interactive mode won't recognize it otherwise. So now I have to continue. So that's for each row in this result set. And for each row, that's the for each array in the array of arrays. Now for each array, so for each dollar i, oops, dollar i, and i will go from 0 to dollar uh, dollar blah 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 and this is pearl magic again I'm not a pearl expert but what it does is it says for e, for i has to be from 0 to whatever um, whatever number of elements are in each row okay and so what do you do so you want to do is print okay you want to print something and that something is whatever is your current row and the current uh, column of the current row. And I'm going to put a space uh, because it's going to be important later. Um, okay, so that'll print, that'll print, uh, it'll just keep printing the elements in a row and because I don't have a character turn, it'll print on the same line. And then we want to close this for loop. And then we want to print uh, carriage return and then we want to close the next loop what do you get hey you get all the data that I inserted before you get the first three which were hard-coded you get the next one which was hard-coded bound parameters and the last one which was hard-coded um, unbound parameters now yes there are two ones here but I didn't put a unique constraint on it so the next thing I'm going to show is you can also do queries with um, uh, with bound parameters for selects. So you go new name equals Shay. Let's say it's Ray. Okay, so print new name. Okay, so we've got Ray. And then I'll go again result equals database handle select all oops array ref q select star from test where name equals question oops equals question mark and then undef and dollar new name so new name is now new name here is the bound parameter and so we're going to select everything from the test database where the name is equal to question mark which is new name which we said was Ray. So we should be getting three in Ray back when we do this. So I'll execute. We got the result set. And I'm going to run that for loop again. Okay, so for each result, um, oops, for each I, print the row, close the for loop, print a carriage return, close the loop, and it came out with three in Ray. So now you know you can do bound parameters for with queries. Finally, you can go dbh dot, oops, not dot, uh, disconnect. And that disconnects the database. It's like an F close. Now what I'm going to do is um, get out of get out of this interactive Perl. So I think you go quit or exit. There we go. Now I'm out. Now what I'll do is SQLite 3, and I think I called it Perl SQLite, whoops dot db 
And so I'm just going to run the SQLite command line on it. And it's actually SQLite 3. And I'm just going to run the dot dump to show you it created the database, right? And it and this is exactly the data that we input through the program. So that shows that Perl can drive an SQLite database. And in fact, any other program that can connect to this database can use this data. And that concludes the video for using uh, SQLite with Perl. I hope you find it useful. And uh, if you found it useful, please take the time to rate it on YouTube so that uh, it's easier to find for other people.